afternoon from the Colorado Rocky Mountains. Welcome back to another landscape photography video. And I'm really excited today because I feel like the summer hiking and backpacking season has officially begun here in Colorado. Enough of the snow has melted and all the roads are open so now we can go up to some higher elevations and do some awesome photography and hiking. And today I'm heading up to a pretty cool high altitude alpine mountain lake called Fancy Lake, which I think sits somewhere around 11,000 feet above sea level. Uh, so we're gonna head up there and hopefully get some photos. I uh, actually photographed up this lake. The last time I did would have been end of September, early October of 2019. And uh, you know, I just didn't get the photo I was looking to get. So I did get a, a kind of a cool photo, but not the one I was looking to get. So I'm heading back up, trying to get a photo that I have in mind of this lake that I want to capture today. So I bought this new water filter for backcountry camping that I'm gonna test out here, you know, before I actually go on like an overnight trip or something, just to make sure, you know, it works and everything, but apparently it like filters out literally everything. So you can, you know, filter this water here and it's completely safe to drink. So that's pretty cool. So I just put a little bit in here and uh, gonna give it a go. See, see how it's gonna be. Just uh, screw that on there. Take that lid off and it has a little, just you suck the water through it. Yeah. I mean, it honestly tastes great. It's like fresh snow melt water right out of, right out of the mountains. But yeah, it just flows right through this thing and, you know, just filters out the water. Apparently it filters out like 99 point 99% of all bacteria, so that's uh, pretty awesome. I'll always have water when I'm out, out doing some awesome landscape photography in the beautiful mountains here. I'll always have some fresh water, so that's cool. Anyway, that's almost to the lake. Let's, uh, let's get up there. down below the basin the lake sits in, but I decided to stop here and shoot this waterfall here first, which is kind of cool. I've seen this waterfall a couple times before that I've hiked this, two summers ago, and then, you know, whatever, 10, eight, nine months ago when I was up here in like end of September-ish, and I never really photographed it, so I decided I wanted to photograph it this time, and uh, it's pretty cool, you know, probably, probably an all right photo, so I'll pop that one up on the screen for you. like high altitude, like alpine hike that I've done for this season. As you can see, there's still a fair bit of snow up here behind me on that, uh, that ridge line going up above, above the lake. So I am quite high right now. I think I'm well over 11,000 feet above sea level, which is uh, two and over two miles above sea level, probably about three kilometers above sea level. If you're thinking a metric, it feels really good to get back up here. Now I did do some research on Google Earth before coming up to this spot. Like I said, I had been here before, so I kind of knew what to expect. And I had an idea of like what kind of photo I wanted to capture, but I go into Google Earth to kind of like see kind of what this terrain's gonna look like once I get there and try to find areas. So there's a hillside back behind me over here. I'm gonna climb up that hillside, I think, and try and get above the lake a little bit. And then you have these really amazing jagged mountain peaks that I know are going to light up at sunset because last time I was here for sunset, they lit up really nicely for sunset. So my whole idea is that I want to get, you know, be above the lake, get the whole lake in the shot, and then get those mountain peaks in the background all lit up at sunset. So I'm going to head over there. Maybe I'll break down the shot to you a little bit more once I kind of find the spot to uh, find the composition and get that figured out. And I'll talk about it a little bit more once I get up there. I 
hiked all the way up that hill. The lake is way down there, and you got these amazing, amazing peaks back here. They're just so beautiful. So I've just been kind of doing some practice shots, just testing out some compositions, what it's going to look like, and we're just really waiting for the sun to drop a bit more. Now the sun's actually setting back here behind this ridge. So that means that these peaks over here are going to get lit up by the sun when it sets. Slightly underexposing the foreground here so the sky and everything won't be blown out. Uh, don't want to really blow up the highlights too much. I find that generally when you're editing in Lightroom on a raw file it's easier to, you know, you can hold more detail in the shadows if you underexpose them compared to the highlights. It's like if the highlights are blown out it's harder to bring the detail out, but if the shadows are underexposed it's a bit easier to bring that detail out of the shadows once you go into you know, Lightroom and start editing the photos. So that's normally what I'll do if I don't want to blow up the sky, then I'll just kind of underexpose the shadows um, because I know I can just bring those up and all the detail will be there. I have a couple of compositions in mind. This is the first one I'm going to try and hit here, which I'm really, again, just waiting for the sun to drop a bit more. So I'm going to try and photograph from this spot first, mainly just the lake with these really cool jagged peaks over here, over this way that I really like the look of. I think they're going to light up nicely when the sun sets. Hopefully we're going to get a good sunset. And just the lake in the bottom, I think it's going to look great. There's also a couple waterfalls kind of located down here in this corner I'd like to maybe get in the corner of the shot. The side of the shot would be kind of cool. Also on my way up here, I walked past a couple little like ponds that were kind of like connected to the lake. You know, it's got a really nice reflection of those mountain peaks in them so I might hit this spot first then head down there and shoot that spot on the way out and then I'll head down afterwards so I have like two main compositions of mine that I want to try out for sunset and uh, I think they're gonna turn out pretty cool as long as you know the light cooperates which I think it might it's looking pretty promising so I'm just gonna sit here have a snack and just wait for the Sun to drop a bit more this is the spot up here this is the vantage point that I wanted to shoot from I wanted to get the whole base in here the lake down there and these peaks up here. So I think this is the spot I'm definitely gonna wait a little bit longer. It's about 8 p.m. right now, so sunset's about 35 minutes away. So I'm expecting, hopefully these clouds are gonna start to light up here and we're gonna get a nice sunset, but I think it's gonna be really cool to try and capture this whole base in here during sunset. And then I'm gonna head down and shoot one more spot all the way down here. There's one more spot that I wanna shoot on the way out. But yeah, it's just a cool spot. Like, awesome, beautiful, beautiful spot. <laughs> Here behind me is the final shot of the day. I'm shooting this in the foreground, this pond here in the foreground that reflect these peaks off of. And then you get the lake right there as well. But I'm really liking the look of this. I do think this is probably the best, best composition of the day, to be honest with you. So this is the last spot I'm shooting for the evening. And I'm gonna head back down, but I'll definitely show you guys those photos right now. <laughs> I look kind of weird with this headlamp on, but it's sun setting right now. It's going to get dark, so I, also I need to be able to see hiking down in the dark. So headlamp, it's a really good thing to have if you're uh, out here hiking, especially if it's going to be dark. But yeah, I think I have some really some cool photos right there at the end, which I'm quite happy with, at least looking them out at them on camera. But what a beautiful lake, getting up here for the first time, shooting some alpine lakes here. In, beautiful Colorado Rocky Mountains. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you like to to my channel below if you want to see more videos about landscape photography. And uh, also follow me on Instagram at envision underscore adventure and go check my website envisionadventure.net where I post all of my photos and blog posts about my photography adventures like this one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.